mental fasting, and psychic detox. Mental fasting means that you do without the things you normally feed your mind with, feed your heart with, over a period of time. That is not to say that what you feed your mind with is bad, but rather to help you discern the things that are good for you and the things that aren't by temporarily removing all input and becoming clear again. From this more clear and empty space, you can start refilling again according to your actual preferences rather than according to your habits or your compulsions or your mental addictions. You'll find that a lot of the things we fill our minds with we don't actually like or want. We simply do so out of comfort, out of familiarity, out of habit. Likewise, when you conduct physical fasting, which is doing without certain foods, you realize that many of the things you were eating you don't really like. You simply ate them out of habit. Now, if your mental fasting is accompanied by physical fasting and physical detox, that's entirely fine and helpful. But in this presentation, I'd like to focus on mental fasting purely because it's a fairly unknown subject. I could also call mental fasting a psychic detox because it clears your body, mind, and being from unwanted, energetic, invisible influences that might be lingering around you in your field. To start your mental fasting, I'd generally recommend one week, and if you really enjoy it and feel the lightness and freedom, you might want to expand it to two weeks or even longer. Before you start, make a list of what you feed your mind and heart with on a regular daily basis and intend to do without all of that for the allotted period of time. A thorough mental detox might include doing without your smartphone or iPhone, which has become a mass epidemic addiction in this world. That would free you from the slavery to the addictive sounds and lights and sights on that phone, the confirmation through others and the addiction to information. Doing without the internet and email altogether for some time might be included in your list doing without the news media or television and movies entirely might be part of your psychic detox. No longer speaking to negative or discouraging people might be part of it. Mental fasting does not mean you should isolate yourself from people you love, but during this time you might at least do without the negative influencers around you. Your list may also include recurring ideas, thoughts, or beliefs you no longer wish to feed for some time. You'd list these thoughts and intend to let go of them or drop them every time they arise, to consciously no longer get into them quite as deeply. Mental detox could also include that you no longer regard advertisements, commercials, and corporate banners. 
It could even include that you do without the kind of reading material that you're used to. Maybe there are certain philosophies you thought are good for you, but actually aren't. You'll find out once you let go of them for some time. If they were good for you, you can always return to them after your fasting. But what to do with all the time and space you have during mental detox? Suddenly you have all this time and space that was previously occupied by the stuff you fed yourself with. Well, that's where it gets interesting. You'll begin to feel your restlessness and boredom with life. Your inability to sit still or be in silence. Your general discontent with beingness itself. That is something to break through, to transcend, instead of going back to distracting yourself from that pure being. And if it gets too much for you, you might replace previous habits with better ones. So if you've set aside your smartphone for a week, you might instead take a walk and observe the birds. Or you might paint. Or you might do sports. Or you might meditate. Or you might make music. Or you might write. Or you might pray. In nothingness, you'll rediscover a wellspring of creativity. You'll rediscover the real you that was covered up for a long time with all of this mental pollution, all of this so-called information. As a consequence, you'll feel more energized, you feel stronger and more free after you mentally fast for a while. If mental fasting and psychic detox was helpful to you and you feel more liberated, please recommend this video to others. Help precious human beings become more free.